So this video is the second part of respiration, which is the last um, subtopic in Unit 1 of the National 5 course. So I've drawn a diagram here, um, which has shown a respirometer. So this whole setup is a respirometer. And respirometers will measure the rate of respiration in something living. Okay? So what you need to think about is what you know about respiration to begin with. So generally we're talking about aerobic respiration here. So thinking back, aerobic respiration involves glucose being taken in and oxygen being taken in and then carbon dioxide, water and ATP being produced. Okay, so that's what we learned from the, um, the video beforehand. Now, this diagram shows a couple of little wood mice. This could, um, in this example, be any living animal. It could be plants, it could be animals, it could be anything at all. So it shows these little wood lice. Now these wood lice will, if they are resp uh, respiring like normal, will take in oxygen and they will give out CO2. So they'll give out carbon dioxide. So if you think about it in terms of balance, if you take in oxygen and give out CO2, eventually that will kind of balance out. Now what happens now in this respirometer is that that CO2, that carbon dioxide, is absorbed by a chemical here, okay? And that chemical will either be sodium or potassium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. And that absorbs the carbon dioxide that that little living thing will produce. So essentially what that means is because this is a sealed little tube, that animal will breathe in, will pull in oxygen and will give out CO2. So it'll pull in air, and they would normally give out the same volume of air back. But that volume of air that they're giving out would have carbon dioxide in it, but that carbon dioxide is absorbed by this chemical here. So in this example then, what we'd have is some coloured liquid. Now when that little organism breathes in, okay, and it pulls in oxygen, what it would do is it would lift this liquid level up. Now when it breathed out, normally that liquid level would go back down then. Okay? But it wouldn't do that because the carbon dioxide has been absorbed by that powder here, by that chemical. So you'd imagine it breathe in, it would go up, breathe out, it would go down. But because what it's breathing out has been absorbed into this chemical, every time it breathes in, this goes up. Okay? So what I've got over here describes that the change of oil, or okay, sometimes this is oil, sometimes it's colour liquid, represents the volume of oxygen that that thing takes in. Okay, so it basically shows us how much oxygen that thing, that little thing is respiring and taking in. Okay, now over time then we can measure the change in this liquid level against that scale and that'll allow your rate of respiration to be calculated. So if you then divide how much it's moved over the length of time that it's in that tube, you can find out what its rate, what its speed, and um, how long it takes to respire, okay? So the rate of respiration can be calculated. Now, there's a little stopper here, but that prevents any other gases getting in, okay, or gases leaving so that you have a sealed unit here. Now you'll also notice that I've got another part of this diagram over on this side. Now this diagram shows the same idea except there's not got wood lice in it. Now if I wanted to use this diagram to prove that the wood lice are the thing that are causing the change in that liquid, what I would do is I would call this set up a control. Okay, so you're proving by having this set up here that the wood lice are causing the effect. Now the wood lice are a living organism. It's proven that wood lice, which are living organisms, are the ones that are respiring and causing that change in liquid level. So what you would do is you'd put some glass beads in that were the same size and the same number as that wood lice. Okay, but these things don't respire. Glass beads are not alive. They don't respire. They don't take in oxygen and they don't give out carbon dioxide. So there's going to be no change in the liquid level here. So what that control does then, is it proves that the wood lice are respiring, and it proves that the wood lice are changing this liquid level. Okay, now this is normally an experiment, um, or an, 
an example of an experiment that we would use in questions for homework or other things like that. So it would sometimes ask you about constant variables. So if I was to repeat this experiment, and that would be ignoring the control just now, if I was to repeat this experiment to make my results more reliable, what things would I have to keep constant? What variables would I have to keep constant? So the only thing that is changing is this liquid level. We're measuring that liquid level and we're basically keeping those with lice there. All right? So nothing else has to change. Everything else has to stay the same. So if you've got these wood lice, you would have to keep the type or the species of wood lice the same. You would have to keep the number the same. So a number of wood lice the same. You'd also have to try and keep the size of them the same because you can have really large wood lice and you can also have smaller ones. And you could do the same experiment here with plants or with other animals. Now you'd have to have the same mass of this chemical, so this sodium or potassium hydroxide. Because otherwise if you change that in mass, it might absorb more or less carbon dioxide. Okay, we'd we'll have to have the same starting level of coloured liquid or coloured um, dye, depending on what it is. So same starting volume of that coloured liquid. Now these little things are also affected by conditions in the room, so you'd have to then think about keeping temperature the same. So that that little thing wouldn't get too uncomfortable or potentially get too cold or too hot. Okay, so this has covered just some of the experimental design examples for that respirometer question. There might be some other ones, but that just gives you a basic run through of it.